pretty impressive, a display of international military might. Thousands of men and women from several different countries all landed on Camp Pendleton's beaches today. It's all part of a multinational exercise called Dawn Blitz. New at 5, 10 News reporter Joe Little was on the beach during that exercise and reveals why training alongside other countries has become part of the U.S. military's way of life. Down the beach from me, you can see two hovercraft that just landed on Red Beach here at Camp Pendleton. This is a very small part of the largest amphibious training exercise ever. They came in hovercrafts. Amphibious assault vehicles. This is something that we in the Marine Corps do on a regular basis, but not, not always this large. Protected from above by choppers. Get back in big order. Hundreds of Marines came to shore at Camp Pendleton and not just Americans. <laughs> Marines and sailors from countries like Chile, New Zealand, Canada, and Japan. They hit the beach together for Dawn Blitz, a multinational training exercise. Assaulting onto the shore, and they're going to rapidly move through the beach. For some, it was their first time in an LCAC, the Marines' transport hovercraft. I was going to get seasick there for a little bit. But it's certainly the first time many of them have trained with other countries. We know that wherever we go today, we're going to be operating alongside a strong coalition. That coalition is 5,000 strong this month. Yeah, they got a gap for you up there. Don Blitz allows them to work out the differences between how each country operates. And overcome that friction of different languages, different communication systems. Before they have to respond for real to a conflict or natural disaster together. At Camp Pendleton. The Dawn Blitz exercises have caused delays for drivers. During today's exercise at Camp Pendleton, military vehicles temporarily blocked parts of Old Highway 101 run here to Barcelona Road. Here's the I-5 North, the off-ramp going to Barcelona Road, and then the I-5 South off-ramp going down to Barcelona Road. Now, the biggest delays, we're told, are between 6 in the morning and noon, and the Dawn Blitz exercises in Friday. and then we will give them to have positive communication and they will control the ground fire inside the effect. Hey. Uh, uh, just observers uh, yeah, from observers. the Navy. Uh, hi. Uh, we, but, uh, we have, uh, we actually have Australians at, at Marine Forces Pacific mm -hmm. as well. Actually, since you guys aren't, you go grab, uh, get Callie's. 
We're gunning for more blue tip. In a meat size? Yeah. 18? About 18. Max? Not, yeah, not like 30 or 40. Okay, so very light. Got it. Marines and New Zealanders continued their vigorous training during exercise Dawn Blitz 2013 with a barricade steel shoot at range 218. The range was designed to imitate shooting in an urban environment, showing the shooters they will not always be in a practical shooting area. We got a uh, barricade shoot. It's a couple different shooting platforms. Try to introduce a little bit less conventional. Everything else that you go through with war, you're not always going to be shooting from uh, standing or the traditional prone. The training also gave the Marines a chance to work with the New Zealanders, preparing them for future operations where they might have to work together. Down here at the uh, Marine level is the ability for that Lance Corporal, that Corporal, the Sergeant, the Lieutenant to be able to work with those Canadian and New Zealander partners and understand what their capabilities are and, uh, and really the Canadians and New Zealanders to understand what our capabilities are. Throughout the duration of the range, the Marines and New Zealanders learn tactics from each other that one day could be essential in future operations. Reporting from Camp Pendleton, California, I'm Lance Corporal, James Gulliver. Shots and you know they're efficient and all that stuff. And you're, uh, so you're gonna go ahead and lean up against the 